remember how much you paid for those? Oh man, that's a great question. I think it was probably around like $700, $800 at the time. Uh, it might even been around like a grand. I don't know. I feel like I maybe even got them at retail just so long ago. Yeah, no, they're sitting Chat, bruh. Let me know in the comments, man. For what shoe? What would you spend an un, 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 a wild amount of money for, bruh? I am very curious to hear this. For me, bruh, the chunky fucking donkeys, bro. I will spend a dumb amount of money, like an un, uh, inappropriate. What's going on, YouTube? Man, look, I, I think everybody knows by now I'm a huge 100 Thieves fan. I wear a lot of their merch this beautiful hoodie but with that being said hey man there's a there's i think this video is kind of old has to be pretty old actually and it's, it's a look inside nate shots shoes and beautiful sneakers and stuff like that but look man I, I think it's easy to say that gaming has also transcended transcended into the, the fashion world and i think a lot of that came from 100 thieves um you know being called a hoodie org but they still make they're making money, bro. They're making money. I mean, with them being able to, you know, branch into the Gucci era, even with, uh, I guess, kind of Gucci Adidas era too. Look, man, 100 Thieves, big time. Big time, huge things, you know, probably fashion-wise is probably going to come down the tube for them. But look, man, we're going we're gonna to watch the video anyway. Look, make sure you like and subscribe, all that beautiful YouTuber jargon, I got to say. Please do it. Let's get to the video. We are headed to LA to film Nate Shot from 100 Thieves Sneaker Collection. Damn. Some sneakers we, wait, over $15,000 in his collection. We're all going to check out the 100 Thieves compound with all their streaming setups. It's absolutely insane. My dude's shoe collection himself is fucking fire. Look, he got... Oh! Okay. I want to tour around your shit real quick, bruh. Okay, let's go and head LA right now. <laughs> So we're here with Nate Shot. I wanted to get a little insight on uh, some of the stuff he's into. Sneakers, you kind of. When was this video? When was this video? August 8th, 20. Not long ago. There's the Juvie right there, bruh. Huh. That's Juvie right there. That's actually hilarious. Huh. I have dabbled in in the past. You made some content on it. I know you're probably not. That's fucking funny. Wanted to bring some of those shoes here, talk about some of your interests. So. You brought some stuff today? Yeah, absolutely. So my background with sneakers was, I'll never forget it. I went into like a finish line when I was 10 years old and I saw a pair of like Jordans that just, I, I couldn't stop looking at them. It was probably the first time in my life where I looked at something like a sneaker and was like, I have to have this. Obviously you don't have any money when you're a kid. You didn't have money for a long time. Bro, I feel like everyone knows that feeling. That first time you see a Jordan or, or, or whatever shoe it is for you, bro. Like, damn, I need, I, I want that. I fucking want that, bro. You know, and the, but when you're young, as he just pointed out, bro, you ain't got that much money, and especially these times of days too. Money, money tight. Money's a little tight. Even then, so as I got older, was playing Call of Duty. You know, there were a lot of things that I really loved outside of video games. Yep. So I just started making videos about all that, and hopefully the audience would follow me. I'm like, these kids are the same age as me. They probably feel the same way about as i said bro are the only thing i'm interested in yep that's why gaming gaming industry is i mean not the just the content creating industry as a gamer is is a very special place because you can sector into so many different fucking things unboxing um just so many different things it's lit for real like there's you know shoot gaming is transcending especially with like 100 thieves honestly 100 thieves is paving that way but there it's turned into like f fashion is part of it um there's so many avenues and i mean gaming has a lot a lot of opportunities for for content creators that's why bro we're trying to make it what we can so i started buying sneakers and unboxing them so i brought just a couple sneakers that 
for Bro, that's me, the it's juvie. about the years were kind of like like a definitive moment. Got these pair of custom Jordan ones. So these were done up after we won the Those first. Those are so uh, tough. Oh my god. So the first Valorant Major oh my was a god. Really big deal for Those us are because so it's a game that was produced by Riot. They make League of Legends was the biggest game of the entire world and has been for like the last decade. It was like a personal, uh, really like sentimental moment because when you expand into a new game, you've got so many teams like coming for that number one spot, yep. and it can be a very defining moment. Those are so tough. If you can, my lord, as, like the championship team. Yep. So after we won that event, it was just like a huge weight off my shoulders and like a, a, like a very rewarding personal accomplishment. Uh, the fact that the team here put together a winning team. And yeah. so we had these sneakers made, got the 100 Thieves embroidery. I don't know what I got on here. Jesus, what is that? <laughs> I, haven't, I don't wear these. I've just yeah. had them sitting in the closet. Who made these? This is actually good quality leather and stuff on here. Oh, man. You know, Dude, I those know are there's so like a couple clean. popular Instagram. Shoes Holy shoes fuck. I've chopped it up with him before. I don't believe he did these. I, I really don't remember the name. I wish yeah. I did. But I wasn't like man in the project itself. Yeah. No, there's some good like leather on here, good quality materials and stuff. Those yeah. Are cool. That's a cool story on those. Exactly. So this was, I, I'll never, I'll never get rid of these. And they even put like Nate Shot in the sole. Or, That's so yeah, tough. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> I'm out of practice. Hey, you know the motto. Yeah, Nate Shot. Act yeah. like you've fucking so, been there, my guy. Up, trying to act see like you've been, been an unboxer, my because guy. These are the ultimate hype beast sneaker. From 2016-17 era. Exactly. Yeah. And the reason why I brought these is because chat i'm gonna be real right now with you guys i hate the yeezys i hate yeezys period some okay i will say this some of the yeezys nowadays look pretty like kind of good um but like bro i had roshis growing up roshis were my fucking shit especially when they started talking like yeezys were like seven to eight hundred dollars bro i was like get out of here because this is really what got i'm a nike man what can i say chat like unboxing sneakers yep. and i know if you guys are purists in sneaker culture this is going to be like the most hype beast uh purchase somebody could have ever made and they're all beat to shit because at the time when i bought them i just had no idea what yeezy was going to turn into but i love them because nowadays they have like a million different versions at that time though i just they were so unique to any other silhouette of sneaker yep. that I had seen on the market. Yep. And it was like, holy shit, these are incredible. Yeah, this is really where unboxing sneakers on my YouTube channel really began. You know what's funny about these is right now, if you have these, this is not considered hype beast. This is actually considered, you're kind of like a little bit of an OG in the space because now- Those like, are the first, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, 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 I could see that. To me. I could see that. These are like not something that people like, I don't make content on them because people don't really care about them anymore. Like the younger kids now that are into it, they don't even really like know much about these. They just know about the new stuff. So like, these are kind of more like you're setting yourself on the OG spin. That's like five, six years ago those came out. Hey man, so, I'll take it. Yeah, that's yeah, good. And I want to learn mean, that. I, I want to learn how to tie that I, tie my shoe like that, man. List and got scammed, paid six hundred bucks, and they're fake. Um, so like, I had to make whole videos on like how I got scammed, this and that. But th I, this is like iconic for me too. Like, he got was, scammed. I was get pranked, idiot. Like that. <laughs> the drive that I had to get this pair was like none that I've ever had before. Bro, I'm glad that I'm not the only one because. At the time, that was right when Adidas was dropping like the Ultras 1.0. See, I fuck with those low key, but bro, I ain't buying no more Yeezys. Oh, well, I ain't buying Yeezys. Fuck that. And again, same thing. Fuck they that, bro. Million, I really wish that Adidas didn't like. I don't even fuck with Adidas, that, period, bro. Fuck buying Yeezys, man. Million pairs of these in truly in different colorways. Because I actually thought the Ultra Boost were like an incredible new silhouette that just gave a different style to like a running like jogger. Yep. That's really where unboxing sneakers started for me. And then I sort of ventured out, started unboxing like Jordans, New Balances, every brand yep. you can think of. Do you remember how much you paid for those? Oh man, that's a great question. I think it was probably around like 700, $800 at the time. Uh, it might even been around like a grand, I, I don't know. I feel like I maybe even got them at retail it was just so long ago. Yeah, no, they're sitting Chat, bruh, let me know in the comments, man. For what shoe, what would you spend an un, un, a wild amount of money for, bruh? I am very curious to hear this. For me, bruh, the chunky fucking donkeys, bro. I will spend a dumb amount of money, like an un, uh, inappropriate amount of money for those, bro. Chunky donkeys are my shit. They're my shit. I want Chunky Donkeys so bad. Hey, chat, if y'all ever want to send your boys something off of like, bro, send me some Chunky Donkeys. I'll kiss you in the mouth, respectfully, if you ask for it. Around like new, like thousand bucks now. So still about the same price. Probably higher than that. 
Yeah, I mean, used, I, we, how much did we get our pair for? 900 bucks, I think? Around 800, 900 bucks for a used pair. So maybe it's a little bit more. But yeah, people don't want, they're not buying these. They want all the new stuff. I, think I totally understand. The reason they're down now is because I think they're going to re-release. Oh yeah, they're planning to re-release them. Yeah, I did see that. I've seen that a, a couple times over the years, like, but I was wondering when it was finally going to happen. Yeah. But I don't resell sneakers anyways. Like, if I'm buying them, it's kind of like, you know, watches. I'll never forget where I was in my life where I bought a sneaker that I hang on to yep. for the rest of my life. You know what I mean? Uh, but time will tell. So yeah. next pair, uh, again, in the hype beast fashion, I didn't That's actually hype. buy these. Bruh. This was really cool in the story. Bruh. Why these are so special. Bruh. The first year Those are so fire, man. Start hiring more people. And I think at the time, we had probably oh, those are so clean. Uh, underneath the organization. Yo, Nate, what, what size shoe company, you wear, bro? Uh, filmed like a surprise video where they those are fire. That's awesome. Yeah, so, you know, they, I mean, I'm from Chicago. I was a little late for the Jordan era. I was born in '92, so the, the the best years is when I was like zero to five years old. Yep. Uh, so obviously, you know, I'm a huge supporter of the Chicago Bulls. I watched them like all throughout my childhood, and with Lonzo Ball now on the team, it's even better. That's so, a little hint to what's coming, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? I love Nate Shaw, but why do you still get so excited about fucking Lonzo Ball, bro? Lonzo Ball. But yeah, I mean, look, bro. No, you, there, you can't say enough about the off-white Jordan 1s. This is probably, like, a, this era of sneakers, the most iconic. These are, like, up to 15 grand now. They're, they're up there. After Virgil passed, they went... <laughs> Wait, so they were like two grand at the time, probably when you got these. They're like 15 now. So. My man said, Look, I ain't never going to sell no shoe. He said, 15K? He said, I'd think about selling my shoes. Bro, you ever watch, like, <laughs> what's that auction show on PBS where they go around? He said, I'll traveling. think about yeah, it. Yeah. 15K? Antique Roadshow. Road road That's how I feel when you just told me that these yeah, are probably yeah, up to 15. Because yeah. I wore these like maybe like six months ago, and my boy Hector from Optic. Yep. Yeah. He sent me a message. Like, what the fuck are you doing walking around those things? You're going to get robbed. I'm yeah. like, what do you mean, bro? Like, where, these are like fifteen, two thousand dollars $2,000 in stock yeah. X. Yeah, nope. 15K now if you want a pair. So. But yeah, I mean, besides the hype, I, at least I have a good background story. No, these are no, these are really good. I've, we've, I've had a ton of pair of these, and I paid really low, paid really high, and uh, these are ones that are staples. And it's less like hype beast stuff. It's like, that's actually an iconic shoe with Virgil. It's the first one ever, so. Right. Well, yep. this is, I'm glad to know. R.I.P. Virgil. Next up is not really a special. Man, my man said 15K, the right fuck? Now. Most comfortable golf That's I've fucking ever wild. A regular pair of foot joys that I got in a pro shop. And I figured, you know, you and I in my office were talking a little bit about golf and yep. how you've been playing. Uh, I just think golf. Yo, chat, real question, man. Look, do y'all do y'all like some golf? Look, I can't watch golf, bro. I can't. But I won't lie. Playing golf is not bad. But the thing is, I'm not good. You know what I'm saying? I'm not good. I, I stole my baseball swing, so I just try to crush the ball. Apparently, that's not how you're supposed to do it. Who would have thunk, thunk it? Who would have thunk it? It's by far and away my favorite hobby aside from video games. Yep. And uh, I played a lot when I was a kid. wasn't any good. Never had lessons. But my dad would always bring me out to like a municipal course, pay 12 bucks and let you play all day. Yep. And I didn't realize how much I loved golf because I played freshman year of high school and then I had to get a job. So I quit after that first year. Wasn't really golfing as much. Moved to LA and kind of rekindled some friendships with some people that I met through the gaming community uh, back in the major league gaming days. Yep. So one of my best friends, uh, Rich, he actually represents- a I can't lie though, he makes like golf fun. Man, Closey at WME. Uh, him and I just hit it off uh, over the years and been golfing together, hanging out, and became best friends through this beautiful game. So if you don't play golf, I'm telling you, everybody thinks it's a very expensive sport, and it can be, just with yeah. anything. Any yep. hobby, any sport can be expensive if you really try to make it so. Yep. But I promise you, watching golf on TV, if you don't know anything about it, I agree, it's the most boring yeah, thing. It's the, the most but boring thing. The maybe maybe right there with baseball, bro. golfers' careers, and you really have people to like root for, that's when golf gets really interesting to watch. But then playing it is completely different. Yep. You're out there with the boys. I agree. Having a I fucking agree. Underneath the sun. Nobody's around you except for your group. And I just think it is by far and away the greatest sport that has ever been made.
Yeah, and it's something you can play. I don't agree with that. Certain sports, you can't extend that out. And uh, I, in high school, I tried out for the golf team, didn't make it. And so, I, but I kind of kept after it. And I think it is one of those things, doesn't matter your age or whatever, it's a skill that you can hone in on and not have to like rely on being. Man, can you buy juvies now? Like, how do you, buy, how do you acquire some juvies? Because I want some. Super physically fit to do it. Bro, look at John Daly. This man just had like stomach cancer and he smokes like two packs of cigarettes a day. The guy does not drink water. He drinks like 10 Diet Coke a day. And that man is still whacking that ball around and scoring pretty well. So you got you got one more for us? I got one more for you. Actually, I would be remiss if I just didn't bring out the Air Force Ones oh, as well. Yeah, classic. White Air Force Ones. And the only reason why I bring these out is because these things in the last year and a half have sort of changed my approach to sneakers. Like I used to buy all the hype drops. I'd pick up a new pair of sneakers every week especially when I was tapped into YouTube every day. I wear these, I don't wear any shoes in my closet besides my Air Force ones. Yeah, and it, they're even harder to get now. That's the problem. You can't even go to a mall and get them, at least in Atlanta anymore. Bro, you they're, can't get them they're anywhere. Out, so they're sold out. They're 150 for them. Yeah. So but still 150 compared to any of the other ones. It's not that bad of a deal for how much you can wear it. Yeah, 100%. I think the biggest thing for me why I want to talk about it is like, as you get older and you get busier and you know you got a lot of things to deal with throughout your day stress family i mean anything removing any and eliminating any decisions that i have to make in the morning yeah it's like the best thing ever bro i throw on a pair of like 501 levi's and i have to worry about go. nothing yeah and they look good still they yeah. well, yeah. you can wear them with most fits and then the our air force ones turn into the new dad shoe is that is that the thing is air force ones turning into new dad shoes bro crown jewel the grand finale right here the crown jewel of my collection <laughs> the original zo 2s big baller brand signed you got the authenticity sticker i got the key still to the lock box you can plug this in it lights up <laughs> that's great i'm telling you and i still believe this to this day the reason why i bought these one because i was just watching the entire ball family at chino hills that was when like high school basketball Bruh. was really thriving and i think that was a definitive Bruh. time for basketball just like sports content and media in general and i love these shoes and i'm the biggest lonzo ball supporter and super fan i just think that when like nate can you at least graduate to being a Lamelo Ball supporter? Like Lamelo's the truth. Lonzo, bruh, come on, man, come on, man. What are we talking about? What are we talking about, man? And it's all said and done. If he can avoid injuries, which he hasn't done a great job the last couple of years, he's gonna be a Hall of Famer in my mind. Hey, and then you're gonna have okay, these, okay. You specified like, in your mind, in release. your mind. That's what I'm saying. The, so when these came out, if you guys remember, they took a while to get. The, like when people bought them, and they, it was like a pre-order essentially, and it took a long time for people to get them. I assumed you waited a good bit for these. It took like six to nine months, I think. Yeah, and maybe it, even a year. Yeah, it was a long time. And I mean, if people wanted them, they got them. The retail was high, like because this one signed. I think it was like six hundred. I think the regular was like three hundred or something like that. And uh, now you're an OG who's got the signed shoe. I try to get that now. It's probably probably tough. I don't even know what the resale market is on these. Are you a Haw uh, Hawks fan then? Do you do you watch a lot of basketball? Uh, I watch a, a fair bit, not too much. We go to a couple Hawks games a year. So okay. I'm a baseball person. I watch a lot of baseball, and golf. I follow basketball a little bit, but this is a good ending of the sneakers. And uh, we're gonna do a little bit of a tour as well of the uh, Hunter Thieves compound. This is really cool to be here and uh, and see this. I've seen it in videos. Look, man, he gasses so, uh, Lamelo way. Yeah, I'm front. I'm gonna give you guys I mean, Lonzo way so, too right, much. Lamelo, understood. Understand, here, but we're gonna take a you know. tour of the uh, Hunter Thieves compound. Thank you for having us, and uh, I'm excited to see this place. Looks cool. Yeah, of course, brother. I appreciate you dropping by, man. My favorite thing is to bring guests. Around. Bro, it's funny to see the juvie now that it's announced. It's funny to see the juvie in his hand, cause yeah. I'm kind of just showing the world that I've been living in for the last five years. We found the company in 2017. We moved in here at the beginning of 2020, right when COVID, was that 2019 or 2020? Uh, beginning of 2020. Okay, so we literally spent like six months like retrofitting this place for ourselves or you know bringing it up to speed for our, all of our needs and then the first month the compound's here, amazing I'll never man get the day when tom hanks and rudy gobert yeah, that yeah. was like the first day where covid got real across yeah. the world the next day we sent everybody home so we didn't get to use like a year and a half but i remember that shit. it was crazy we're finally back in but yeah this is where the magic happens i guess i feel like
I got to get you guys some Chris style with like yeah, MTV yeah. Cribs. Yeah. So yeah, it's like the foyer. All right, Chad. We've all. I mean, I think by now we've all seen seen the Hundred Thieves compound. It's a lit place. I want to be there one day and shop. I want. I want to call you my boss. Anyways, yo, chat. Look, go go check out the video if you you want to go check out the rest of it. Um, who's this guy? Uh, Harrison Neville, dude's fucking booming on fucking uh YouTube. But look, we'll, we'll just go keep. keep, 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 keep chat, but look, hey man. If you are not subbed already, make sure you sub and add a like to the video. Turn on the notifications, all that YouTuber jargon. I gotta say, and look, I appreciate y'all being here. I will see you on the next one. Make sure y'all smart. Keep them thumbs fucking up. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.